Hi everybody, today's focus I am testing sal suds to see how well it removes bacteria from my home. If you watch my channel, you know that I love to test all sorts of cleaning products and I also ask my viewers to tell me what sorts of products do you want me to test. Well, sal suds has been my most requested video. I've received viewer suggestions from Jewel Breyer, Emma 22 Cutie, Joyful Soul, Allie M7XU, Matthew Houston, Grassy2592, F. Webster, Bernie Pearl, Mrs. Baker, Scuba Boog, On This Journey, Brandy Shaw, Quibbit0002, Shally Hope, Bernie868, and others. I'm really excited about testing Sal Suds. Now, nowhere on their website, they have a really nice website, by the way, so if you haven't been to it, you really should go to it. Lots of different cleaning ideas and nice cheat sheets for the dilutions. Anyway, but nowhere on the website and nowhere on this bottle that I could find, there's a lot of writing on this, do they make any claims that Sal Suds is a disinfectant or a sanitizer or can remove bacteria? But today, we're gonna to test to see if it can remove bacteria because that's what I do on this channel. But in order to test to see if cell suds can remove bacteria, what I'm gonna do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and swab various areas around my home. I'm gonna swab areas like my kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, toilet rim, and place those in the sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm gonna clean according to this dilution sheet from Sal Suds' website. Swab the area again and place a sample in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's gonna go there. So let's read how we're supposed to use Sal Suds. So on the bottle itself, it says that Dr. Braun is Siberian Fur and Spruce Sal Suds Biodegradable Cleaner. I really can't wait to smell this. I love the scent of pine, white pine, Siberian pine, I love it. So I really think I'm gonna enjoy the scent of this. And on the side, it has uses and dilutions. Uh, it's pretty clear here. It says for an all-purpose household cleaning spray, one tablespoon per quart of water. Spray and wipe with a damp cloth. That's good. Use to clean stone countertops, tile, sinks, toilets, stainless steel, plastics, painted and sealed wood surfaces, not waxed, and anything that can be washed. So that's pretty simple. That's what I'll do. I will make the all-purpose cleaning spray and use that during my test. So Dr. Bronner's Cell Suds is different from the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap in that it says that the Dr. Bronner's Cell Suds Liquid Cleaner is not a soap, but instead a concentrated hard surface all-purpose cleaner. So it is different from the Castile Soap. So in addition to the all-purpose spray that I'm gonna to test today, it can be used all over the house. Let's take a look at some of the uses. So you can use it in the laundry. I should test this too, okay. Pre-treating laundry stains, hand washing delicates, for cloth diapers, um, the all-purpose cleaning spray, ovens, sinks, tubs, showers, but for that they say you use the all-purpose spray and use baking soda. Uh, stainless steel appliances, toilets as a carpet cleaner, interesting, upholstery, you can make a window wash with it, interesting, use it as a fruit and veggie wash, use it to hand wash dishes, uh, use it while mopping, I should test that too. There's also outdoor uses such as cleaning your car, patio furniture, using it with a pressure washer. There's so many different ways to use cell suds. I'm really looking forward to testing this. So let's see how well cell suds removes bacteria from my home, even though they make no claims to be able to. We're just gonna test this because that's what my viewers want me to do. <music>
Now for some results. Let's look at the kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a bunch of bacteria, and I love the sample because we can see different types of bacteria as well. And in the after section, I know it's hard to see in the photo, but there are about three or four tiny bacterial colonies in that after section. So the cell suds did a great job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria, and that's a huge sampling for a kitchen sink drain. It's always filled with lots of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. It is not hugely significant, but it is most certainly a visible and noticeable decrease. So the cell suds does a eh, okay job at removing bacteria from the kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see some different types of bacteria there. And in the after section, there are about half a dozen teeny tiny small bacterial colonies as well as that blob there on the side. So we can see a visible decrease between the before and the after. Sal Suds does a great job at removing the bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. That's a nice sample there. And in the after section, it appears that there's no bacteria in that after side. However, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on the picture. I'll do the best I can. It's kinda hard to see, but there are about 60 tiny bacterial colonies on the other side. So we can most certainly see a decrease in bacteria, but there is still some bacteria hanging around in the after section. So the cell suds does a good job at removing the bacteria from the toilet rim. Overall, I'm impressed with cell suds and its ability to remove bacteria, even though they make no claims to be able to do so. It did a great job at removing the bacteria from that kitchen sink and the bathroom sink, a little less good in the toilet rim, and not the best in the kitchen sink drain. But if you watch my channel, you know that kitchen sink drain trips up a lot of different cleaners. As for the scent, I absolutely love it. It is Siberian fir and spruce. And I think I said in the intro that I absolutely love the scent of pine, and I really do. So this is a scent that I really, really, really love. It is not strong. It is not overpowering, and it doesn't smell um, fake. It, it really does smell like a beautiful pine woods. I really like it. I'm impressed with how concentrated their product is. You just needed a tablespoon and a quart of water to make an all-purpose spray. I mean, this bottle should last me a very long time. I did test it out on just cleaning some areas that had dirt. Not looking to see if you could remove bacteria, but can it remove dirt and grime? And it did a great job. It definitely is a fantastic cleaner. I enjoy products that you can use as an all-in-one. I'm not a huge fan of being like, you can only use this cleaner in the bathroom and only use this cleaner in the kitchen. I like that it is a cleaner. It says you can basically use it on anything. I do like that a lot. I like that it's biodegradable. I like that it comes in a concentrated formula so you're not wasting a lot of plastic. There's a lot of stuff I like about this. In the bottom here, it does have a little picture. It says it can make 32 quarts of the all-purpose spray. That's great, 32 quarts for this bottle. I think that's great. It says it can do, uh, it can mop 64 floors. I'm testing it as a mopping solution uh, this week, actually, so stay tuned for that. It says it can do 96 sinkfuls of dishes. I haven't tested it cleaning dishes. I just use my dishwasher usually. Um, it can wash 64 cars. That's funny. And do 16 loads of laundry or 32 in an HE machine. I'm gonna test that too a little bit later on. So the product really does have a lot of uses. It's got a pleasant scent. It was nice to use. It didn't remove as much bacteria as some of our other products that we've tested, but it did a fantastic job. I'm really happy that I had the chance to test Sal Suds. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. My viewer suggestion list is long. There's well over a thousand suggestions, but I love seeing what my viewers wanna see. And if I see a product come up over and over and over again, it's gonna get bumped up to the top of the list. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email that's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so I know I should check my mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.